Welcome everyone, today we're going to learn the granny diamond stitch, a fun twist to the classic granny square that uses groups of three double crochet uh, stitches. This stitch is perfect for adding beautiful diamond patterns to your project simply by changing colors as you go. I use this stitch in my granny diamond stitch cardigan which turned out really lovely. If you're interested in making one yourself, you can find the pattern in my Ravelry, Etsy and Lovecraft stores. So grab your yarn and hooks and let's get started on creating some beautiful diamond patterns together. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use uh, Yarn Drops Paris. That's a worsted weight yarn and I'm gonna use two colors. And I have a five millimeter crochet hook. In my card for my cardigan, I use seven colors. So actually, here you can play a lot with the variations. So to start, you're gonna make a slip knot and you're gonna chain fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's a multiple of three. And you're gonna start working in the third chain from the hook by making two double crochet stitches. And the chain two also comes as a stitch here. This is one two and then you're gonna skip two chains and work three double crochet stitches into the next chain one two three One, two, three, and another set of double crochets. One, and two, and three. And when you have three chains remaining, you're gonna skip two and work the one double crochet into the last chain. Like this. And the first row is finished. And for the second row, a row you're gonna chain two. That also counts as a stitch here and throughout. And you, now you're going to be working in these spaces between double crochets, those groups of double crochets. And you're going to work two double crochets into this first space. One. And the second one. We're going to close with a new color. I have this green color, so let's close it like this. And now you're going to be carrying the tail from the green yarn and the pink yarn with you. And you're going to be working over these two yarns. So let's go make three double crochet stitches into this space, next space. One, and two, and the third one, we're going to close with the pink yarn, like this, and now carry the green yarn and work the next set of double crochets over that yarn like this. So 
So let's make three. One, two, and the third one we're gonna close with a green yarn. <clears throat> like this. And now we have one more space here. And with the green yarn, we're gonna still again work three double crochets. One, two, and the third one, we're gonna close with the pink yarn. So now we only need to work last double crochet stitch into the chain two from the previous round row. But we're gonna close it with the green yarn. Like this. And now close it with the green yarn. This is row two. You can actually fasten off the pink yarn and now for row three we're only gonna work with the green yarn so you're gonna chain two and turn and you're gonna be working into these spaces but you have to take the yarn that you were working over uh, from the row two here so let's make two double crochets, taking this yarn with you. And this is also the wrong side of this pattern. So let's work another one. One. Two, Here we have another set to work. One, two, and three. Make a double crochet into the chain two from the previous row. And we're gonna close it with a new color. I'm gonna use the pink one. And now with the pink one you're gonna chain two. And here you shouldn't fasten off the green one. Turn and you're gonna be carrying these two tails with you. Working over you're gonna work two double crochets into the first space one and the second one you're gonna close with a new color with the with the green color like this now work one in uh, with the green color one set of double crochets And the third one, you're gonna close with the pink color. Okay, now let's make a set of double crochets with the pink color. And 
And the third one, we're going to close with a green yarn. Like this. We have another set to work with the green one. One. Two. And the third one, we're going to close with the pink yarn. Now you can see the diamonds here. We have two diamonds with the green yarn. The last, on the last double crochet, we're going to work into the chain two from the previous row. Like this. Now we can cut off the green yarn and we continue working only with the pink yarn. So chain two and turn and work two double crochets into this uh, space, carrying the yarn with you. So continue on and I will meet you at the end of this row. So here is the end of row 5. We're gonna work uh, one double crochet into the chain 2. And this is actually the pattern for this diamond stitch. To continue you're just gonna chain 2 and turn and work two double crochets into the space. In here, again, you need to attach new yarn. And that's practically it. You know how to do the diamond stitch. So thank you so much for sticking with me through the Granny Diamond Stitch tutorial. I hope you're excited to try it out in your own projects. Don't forget the pattern for the for my granny diamond stitch cardigan is available in my Ravelry, Etsy and Lovecraft stores if you're interested in more maybe. So happy crocheting and I can't wait to see what beautiful creations you come up with.